Hi, buddy, it's me, Akin, for Let's Play the Erdrick Trilogy, Dragon Warrior. That's it. So today we're ready to press on and find exactly where it is where we're going to be doing our gold farming. Now, again, our financial goal is 180 gold pieces. If you come down here to this range of mountains and come to this bottom range, uh, this bottom uh, row, you'll actually run into some uh, some mobs that are actually pretty good for your gold farming. Now, they will hurt. They will hurt badly if uh, if you let them. So your basic strategy is just keep use, uh, just keep spamming hurt and the occasional physical attack when you get them down low enough. Uh, the magic drink, by the way, has 15 hit points. And it gets a decent amount of uh, gold pieces. Uh, magicians, as we've been through before, about 10 hit points. Uh, again, uh, keep using hurt, and you actually want to come down here until uh, until you run out of magic. Uh, and by that I mean to a point where you can't cast uh, another heal. Uh, scorpions, roughly 12 hit points. Uh, their defense is actually pretty high. So, you don't want to attack him physically at all. Just keep using hurt. Um, other than, other than that, um, we can run into ghosts. Crap. Did not mean to do that. Anyway, other than that, you can, uh, you can run into ghosts and, you know, of course, they, they pose absolutely no threat. Feel free to attack them physically. Uh, when you get down to a point to where you can't even cast a single heal and uh, and a hurt, so roughly six magic points, come over here, get your magic back, heal yourself up, and then get back out. Now, the amount of experience you need to go up to level six is actually 220. And if you get to a point to where you get 180 gold pieces, but you and you're close to 220 uh, 220 experience points. And you still have uh, some magic left over. Why not finish out that level? I mean, you're right there. Now, if if you uh, if you're close, but you still can't even cast a single heal spell and a single hurt spell, then yeah, get out of there. Now, one thing I want to uh, I do want to emphasize: once you reach this mountain range right here, you're out of the that you're out of the hot zone. So it's only down here that these bad guys will show up. So anyway, now that we know this, I'm going to go ahead and do so on my own. I need about 100, 100 gold pieces more. Again, once you reach up here, I can't stress this enough, once you reach up here, you're safe. You'll start running into Drakey's, uh, drinking the slimes, but other than that, you're pretty safe uh, on, uh, on your way back to Tantagol. I will see you all on the other side. Alright, I'm back. So now that we got our, our money, we're ready to get the Copper Sword. Sweet. Yes. The Copper Sword. Sure. Yeah, and, and that's another thing. If you buy a piece of equipment that uh, replaces an old piece of equipment, he will automatically buy it off you. So if you really wanted to, you could actually go up to 150. The reason I say 180 is, you know, just in case you want to start a first aid kit, you have, you have a little bit of money on the side. So now we're ready to press on. Die. Okay, we're still not hitting harder than we were with the club. Well, we are, sorta. Damn! Thy random encounter rate has thus increased. <laughs> We may end up gaining our level before we even reach the town! And doing so on slimes. Holy hell! Oh well, it's not an ungood thing. I mean, we sure as hell could use the experience. Okay. 
Okay, so there actually is a reason we're back here. If we talk to this guy, let's go ahead and pick up a few herbs. Yes. Herb. No. So now we can actually heal ourselves in battle without the use of magic. Now, I know you're all probably wondering why I haven't exp explored this cave yet, despite the fact that I've already given away the fact that we're not going to be running into any random encounters in here. Well, there's actually a reason behind that. For new players, you might not want to explore this cave until I do believe it's level 8. Even without random encounters, in case you can't actually see where you're going, and even the use of a torch... Yeah... Try, try figuring out where the hell you're going navigating in this. So now that we know this, we're actually not going to start exploring any caves until we learn to spell Radiant. Which, again, I do believe is level 8. I could be wrong, but I think it is level 8. Oh, and now slimes are starting to run away from us. Okay. So let, let's go ahead and do a little more exploring. Now you really don't want to go too far south from here because you could end up running into skeletons which will kick your ass. It doesn't matter how, uh, how many times you, uh, you hit them with hurt, they will still kick your ass. They are tough, tough shitheads. Oh, hello, a swamp. Another magician. Okay, one more fight ought to do it from where we are. A red slime. You're kidding, right? Another red slime. You're kidding, right? I was wrong. It'll take three battles because of all these damn red slimes. Another cave. We'll explore it later. Again, we need radiant. Without radiant, we won't be able to see where we're going. Sweet. not ungood. I mean, I mean, we're gonna deal a little more damage. Hopefully. You're kidding! So hopefully we're gonna start doing in, in double digits more consistently, which would be really good, especially against the scorpions and magicians. Okay, so let's see how our physical attack power holds up against the scorpion. Okay, apparently we need a little more defense. But we're doing a good amount of damage to it. I'd still recommend you use Hurt because you, you're, you're going to do just as much damage without the risk of missing. So if you do run into a scorpion, again, I would recommend highly that you use Hurt. Anything that's less defensive than that, you'd be okay fighting physically. You're, you're joking. Man, I've missed more, more this episode than I have the, in this entire playthrough. This includes the grinding you didn't see. Dear God. So now let's go ahead and see what's over here. Now that we're strong enough to actually advance. Red slime. Yay. Can I get something a little tougher than a red slime? Please? Well, that works. Ha ha!
That does it, though. I mean, even now, gold is still at a premium, and Drakeys just aren't helping that much, and neither are these fucking red slimes! Okay, can I make it to this bridge by the end of this episode? <laughs> or if you're gonna do that to me, at least give me magicians. Those things really help, not only in the experience front, you know, we're strong enough to take them on, but in the gold front as well. If you thought the equipment in the last town was expensive, oh dear god! Three misses this episode. If you thought the equipment in the in the last town was expensive, wait until you see what's what's going on in this town. <laughs> oh man, you have no idea how much of a problem gold is. Even now. Well I guess it works. Yeah, I know I could uh, I could use hurt against these guys to take them out quickly, but I'm actually kind of uh, kind of afraid to use hurt right now because we could run into some uh, some baddies that could end up kicking our ass. At which point we'd need the magic for heal, you know, like now. looks so familiar. Well first let's go ahead and check out the weapon shop. Oh you have no idea how much of a problem gold is. Yeah! To max out our equipment we need 3,500 gold pieces. Yeah! Gold, you're joking, right? It took me an hour just to get that. Okay, a little exaggeration there. Okay. But hello, it's over here. Sheet. Yeah, swamps actually do take some damage. Uh, I do believe it's two hit uh, points per. Let's go ahead and find out. Yeah, two hit points per stat. Okay. Okay, so now that we're so low on health, heal. Now that's actually not the most dangerous of the uh, of the uh, damaging floors. There's actually a magic barrier that'll take, I do believe, 15 health points per step. Now. <laughs> One would think, why not have, uh, have a set of wings just in case? Well, again, gold is a really, really big problem at this time. So let's go ahead and start our way back to Tantacle. We might not actually be able to make it there by the end of this episode. And if such happens, uh, I will actually go there off screen. Uh, because, you know, again, we kind of need to heal. We have one herb and the ability for two heals. In fact, I know we're not we're not going to be able to make it. So let's go ahead and run back to this town. So it's about here. I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. You might actually want to consider uh, using the inn, even with as expensive as it is. You know what? Just so I don't look like a fucking hypocrite, we're going to do that. You know, have a full complement of health and magic for the uh, for the way back to uh, Tantico because you saw the kind of troubles I had get, uh, getting here. So, now I'm gonna call it an episode coming up next time we go back to Tantacle, and there's actually a reason we're going back to Tantacle. It might not seem really big, 
But trust me, we're gonna wanna do that this, especially considering how much grinding we're gonna need to do just to reach level seven. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna.